What's up everybody, Naruto Nick here with another tutorial for Super AMV Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be learning Event Pan Crop Mastery. <clears throat> and uh, basically, it's some new stuff I learned with uh, Vegas because I got really tired of rendering everything I had in Vegas out to Adobe After Effects, then panning it, then rendering it back into Vegas. Well, I figured out a way to make it look uh, very similar at least to uh, the quality of Adobe After Effects. So I'll show you a normal Vegas uh, zoom out and then a zoom out I made especially with Vegas with uh, some Van Pan co crop tricks. Alright, so here's the first one. That looks pretty fucking nasty. Yeah, so here's uh, here's the one I just made with just Vegas. This is uh, a Van Pan crop. I used three keyframes and here it is. That looks a lot more smoother. Alright, so here's what I did. The normal one, you can just see is three regular keyframes, nothing special. For this one, you can see uh, my keyframes are a different color than they normally are. Uh, for this, you're going to want to, you know, start out zoomed in and go out around, I don't know, four. I don't know why I did five, but you'll get the same result. And then all the way at the end, you pull one all the way zoomed out. I'll show you a better technique later, but for now this is this will this will do. All right, so for the first one, you know, you can keep it linear. Yeah, that's the thing. You right-click the keyframes, and you get all these little options here: hold, sharp, smooth, slow, fast, and linear. And so basically, what they all do is, um, well, linear is your regular. It's just, you know a linear pattern, meaning you know it's continuous, and whatnot. Fast is uh, what I have selected, it'll go fast for a period of time and then slow down. Uh, slow is it'll go slow for a period of time and speed back up to normal speed of, you know, the linear. Smooth smooths the keyframe out before it hits it, so that's why it smooths out at the end pretty nicely, as you can see here. So, yeah. And then sharp is just retarded. I wouldn't use it. Hold. I have no idea what hold does. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay, so it holds the keyframe. What? That's just retarded. So I just, yeah, this is this is this is the really the best way for a zoom. Keep the first one linear. Zoom out four. Put it out here. Select fast. Go all the way to the end. Zoom out. Just hit restore. Hit smooth, and you got yourself a nice zoom. Well, basically, but, um, I feel like this could be a lot better. So, let's zoom this baby in a little more. Let's get rid of this sucky one. Go into new blue zoom. These are a lot better. It's like the... It's, it's much better than radials. It's what I use now. I, I don't even use radials at all. It like blends it in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn it down to about a 2.3. Go all the way a couple more frames. Put it down to zero. It looks so nice. Oh, that one, the zoom doesn't. See, yeah, this can be used in um, video effects too. So if I want it to, you know, smooth out at the end, let's pick out smooth. And this one, say I want it to go down pretty kind of fast at first. And so that, that looks a lot better. And so there you have it. Uh, Event Pam Crop Mastery in two easy steps. It basically mimics Adobe After Effects, so you no know, need for that. In fact, in my new video, which I'll put a link of, and I'm not trying to self-promote because I have plenty of subscribers, but this is the exact technique I use for all my event pan crop and all my blurs, all my zooms, everything. This is the exact same technique, so uh, good luck.